Quick video on autosomal recessive conditions and two key scenarios, but examples of things like sickle cell, thalassemia, and cystic fibrosis. So remember, in an autosomal recessive condition, you need both genes to be affected to have the condition. But if you've got one gene affected, you are a carrier of the condition as opposed to having it itself. So if you look at the first example, these are when you've got both parents being carriers of the condition. I, none of them have the condition, but they've got one affected gene, so they're carriers. What are the chances for your child? The child has a 25% chance of having the actual condition because they have two affected genes in this instance. They've got a 50% chance of being exactly the same as the parent, i.e. have one affected gene, one not, so carrier status. But they've also got a 25% chance of having nothing to do with the condition itself, not a carrier, nor having the condition um, itself. Now you look at this example, you've got one parent here who actually has the condition, so they have two affected genes, and you have one parent who is a carrier, so one affected gene. What's the chances for the child? So the child here has a 50% chance of having the condition, i.e. there's two in four chance where they have both affected genes, but they also have a 50% chance of being a carrier, so one affected gene and one normal gene, but there's a 0% chance of having nothing to do with the condition, whereas here, you get a 25% chance of having nothing to do with the condition, not carrier, nor having the condition itself. So also recessive is all about whether you have two affected genes and you have the condition, or whether you have one affected gene and you're a carrier, or whether you have no affected genes where you have nothing to do with the condition whatsoever. I hope this helps. Look forward to catching up with some of you guys at our second clinical AKT Crammer this evening. See you soon.